Hey everybody, what is up? This is Devin Lavore coming at you. And today, guys, I want to talk to you about something um, near and dear to my heart and God's heart. And it's about faith. You know, don't click off the channel. I, I know there's a lot of stuff out there about faith. But I want to talk to you about how, you know, as we live here on the earth throughout all of history, we have a thing called currency, right? Um, it's something that you give from what you have to buy something else, right? We have money of all kinds, you know, whatever country you're in, you have a certain kind of currency, a certain kind of money that you, you do a a job and it gives you money or you perform some sort of service and people give you money for that and through that money you can go and do things and live life now some people can offer a service that makes them billionaires some people offer uh, they work at a job that basically puts them in a paycheck to paycheck situation where but they still are just living the life they're living, right? This is an easy concept to understand. Um, even in very, very uh, isolated, uh, let's say, tribal situations, places I've actually been to um, in the Amazon and stuff like that, they have, they still have a very similar system, you know, of barter and trade. Um, where I give something to you and you give something back to me, right? Well, it's the same thing in the kingdom of God. But what is the kingdom of God's currency? What's the currency in heaven? I don't think God has the American dollar in heaven. I don't, I don't think he has, you know, whatever your country's money is. I don't think he has that in heaven. And that's the way you get around. No, the, the same currency in heaven is well it's the currency we have here on earth let's just stick to the earth stuff right now um and that is faith we have to have faith how do we know every time jesus a lot of time most of the time jesus said he didn't say do you have the money he said do you have the faith do you believe that i can do this and he was constantly building up his disciples in the aspect of faith continuing to believe do you have faith you have to be believe and hey come on let's go to the other side here comes the storm it's it's going crazy jesus is sleeping in the back of the boat well master wake up don't you care and it's like hey hey, hey. you know, s storm be still you know and then he turns to his disciples and he says where is your faith see so faith was a huge thing for him i mean you look at all of jesus's life you look out throughout all of the bible and faith is what god is looking for faith for what faith in what he is telling you abraham's journey joseph's journey David's journey, they were journeys of faith to receive a promise that was given. What's the promise? The promise is the word of God. You know, we have to have faith, you know? And so this morning, you know, and we have to process our lives through the word of God and what God has said to us. And so this morning, the Lord gave me a Mark 5, 36. And in the Amplified Bible, it's where... Jairus is coming to Jesus and says, hey, come heal my daughter. Jesus says, okay. But on the way, he gets stopped by a lady with an issue of blood, heals her. <laughs> and then he moves on to Jairus' daughter. But before he gets there, Jairus' friends come and say, don't worry. Don't, ma don't bother the teacher anymore. Your daughter's dead. In my Bible, it says... In the Amplified, it says, overhearing but ignoring, Jesus said, do not fear, don't be struck with terror and alarm, and it's like, don't fear, only keep believing, only believe. Um, and I tell you what, Jairus would have been taken down completely had the Lord not said that. See, even the Lord overhears uh, the, the things that we hear that take us down. For example, there's a lot of things in life that speak 
to us not using English. You can look at your bank account and it's speaking something to you, right? You can look at your you can look at the state of your marriage, the state of your children, the state of your church, the state of your city, the state of your nation. You can look at the state of your career path. Um, you can look at a lot of different things and they will begin to speak something to you. And is it what God is saying or not? It's like, because if it's not what God is saying, then you have no obligation whatsoever from God to listen to that message. You know, if people with their own mouths are coming to you and telling you th things that God himself did not tell you. In fact, God himself comes and says, no, 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 don't listen to that. Listen to this. Now, one thing we do see with uh, Jairus and his situation is Jesus didn't deny the facts of something. You know, he didn't say, oh, no, what they're saying is not true. No, he just like, I, I, I hear you, but overhearing, but ignoring said, no, I'm going to tell you, my word is better than death. So it doesn't matter whether she's dead or sleeping or whatever it is. It's like God's word is, he said, I will come, you know. And a lot of times, God moves outside of our expectations and boundaries. Jairus came looking for a healing. So when the daughter died, it seemed like, well, that's the that prayer is not going to be answered. And God's like, well, I'm not going to answer that prayer. I'm answering the, uh, <laughs> I'm not going to answer the prayer for healing. I'm answering the prayer that, hey, Jesus, I need you to come and fix my situation. You see what I'm saying? A lot of times we come to the Lord, come on somebody, I'm talking to somebody out there. Uh, a lot of times we come to the Lord with our own idea of, here, Lord, fix this and do it this way. Kind of like a child, he comes to you and says, my toy's broken here, put this here and do this here and do that here, but because I, I can't do it and this is the way it needs to be done. And, and the Lord's like, ah, no, that's not the way it needs to be done. The bottom line is you just want the toy fixed, right? Well, yes, well, here, let me fix it in such a way that it's not gonna break. Um, and the Lord's like, oh, you asked me to come, so I'm coming. You asked me to come, so I'm coming. You asked me to come, so I am coming. And when he comes, he will come and he will fulfill the desire of the heart. He will come and he will do what he said he was going to do. He said he was going to come. He said he was going to take care of your daughter. That's what he's going to do. He's going to come. But she's dead. And? What was your point? <laughs> Is death greater than my word? Here, let me prove to you it's not. And then the, the girl was raised from the dead. The girl woke up. She was, she was alive. That's the bottom line, right? And so, you know, in Jesus' hometown, it says he couldn't do many great miracles, maybe that he healed a few people. Why? Because of the lack of their faith, you know? It's like, Jesus, why could we not cast the demon out? Well, because of the lack of your faith. And I know that there's a version that says, well, but this kind only comes out by prayer and fasting. But the bottom line is, he was like, but it was the littleness of your faith. It's like, you just didn't believe. Um, and so he was constantly building in his own disciples faith. And it's like, he was making them rich. He was making them wealthy in the kingdom. You know, it's one thing to have earthly means to be able to do stuff, and you need that. Um, but also, what you really need is faith. Faith is the currency that's going to get you things. It's like Jesus came as a merchant. He came as a salesman. He was selling salvation and miracles from God. Um, Isaiah 55 um, verses one and two in my Bible, it says, simply for the self-surrender that accepts the blessing, come and eat, buy without money. Well, how do you buy something without money? Well, just have faith in what I'm saying. Do you believe that I'm putting out this lavish banquet for you, free of charge? You can just eat whatever you want. You don't have to pay me nothing, just come. You know, if you believe it, you coming by faith is the thing you, you use to pay for the banquet, just come surrender yourself it's like okay well there you go you can eat as much as you want and so it's the same thing when jesus was walking throughout his entire ministry it was a matter of hey do you believe yes it's like jesus son of david heal heal me or heal us 
you know it's like well what do you want me to do for you we want our site okay well do you believe that i can do this he's basically saying do you have the kingdom of god currency to purchase what you're asking for <laughs> Ooh, glory to god do you have the kingdom of god currency to purchase what you're asking for and he's like he's like listen if you have a tiny 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 bit you got enough and he's like yes yeah how many times to say yes lord we do and those who had great faith who had great currency of faith the lord was he acknowledged them he was like whoa great is your faith with the syrophoenician woman and the uh, centurion um and so that's what god's looking for i felt like the lord said that to me today he was like devin faith is what's gonna buy you everything you need faith is what's gonna make the dream come true faith is what's gonna make it happen now of course you're gonna need real money here on earth to make that happen but you're gonna need faith to access those resources um you gotta be really careful getting into yourself and allowing yourself to tell you what self is gonna do self is gonna get up and self is gonna go and you better that better be by the spirit encouraging you and getting you going and he's going to carry you through because he's got to be the one that carries you through if it's yourself that's carrying you and doing all that stuff man nothing good is ultimately going to come from that i mean there could be I'm not saying nothing. Well, particularly if you're in ministry, something good is going to come from it. You know, the birth of Ishmael is still a child. You know what I'm saying? But it's not what God intended. God's like, I didn't intend it to be this way. You know, but out of your impatience and maybe your fear and your own leaning on your own understanding and you're figuring, well, maybe God wants to do it this way. And and all of that combined gets itch, gets Ishmael's. It's like, let it be done, let it be born of the spirit, not of the flesh and of the self. You know, the flesh and the the self, it's going to pay, it's going to buy you something too, you know? But when you are led by the spirit and you're listening to the spirit and you have faith in what God is telling you, that is what's going to get you to where you, (laughs) where you need to be. Um, Yeah, I'm just outside my hotel room here. That's what's going to get you to where where you need to be. But it's more than that, it's going to get God's desire fulfilled here on earth. We say, let your kingdom come and your will be done here on earth. Well, how's it going to happen? But by the faith of the believer. The the scripture says, the uh, Second Chronicles 16, 9, says, the spirit of the Lord, the eyes of the Lord are going to and fro throughout the earth, looking to show himself strong on behalf whose hearts are blameless for him. And I believe those are hearts of faith, people who believe what God's doing. Um, It's faith. Faith is the money of heaven. Faith is the currency of heaven. You know, we, we use our faith to buy things from heaven to access God's heart from heaven and and withdraw from the heavenly account in order to purchase things here on earth you know and a lot of times that is a matter of you know getting healing getting um wisdom getting anything we need you know and sometimes you actually need physical money you know that's the situation we constantly find ourselves in constantly constantly You know, until such a time when we don't find ourselves in that situation. But who doesn't find themselves in that situation? Everybody's in a situation where they need money. Even if you have a lot of money, that's great. It's like, if you have a lot of money, then it just takes away the the need for you to have money. But you will still need to use that money to purchase things. You know, money by itself is just a means to an end. You know, and faith is a means to an end it's 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 the what we use to access to to make a way a platform for god's heart to rest on us for his spirit and his word to rest on us and build upon us build within us the covenant of god that we go forth and live in you know it's you have to have faith 
in the Lord. And why not? Why not believe someone who's never lied? Why not believe someone who's who's never lied? Uh, Isaiah 64, 4, it says, There is no history on the earth of a, of a God who is active and shows himself active and proves himself to those who earnestly wait for him. Isaiah says, in Isaiah 64, 4, he says, there is no history. You won't find it. You, you'll, you'll see the names and the history of many gods, but you will not see the history of them active in the lives of the people that, they, that, that believe in them. Why? Because they're not real. They can't actively move and breathe and do stuff on their own because they're not real. They don't exist. And God shows himself active and proves he is real. He shows signs from heaven. He sends his spirit. And it's, it, I can make a whole video just answering that question right there, just addressing that issue. But God shows himself strong on behalf of those who wait for him. You know, Second Chronicles 16.9 says the same thing as basically Isaiah 64.4, you know. And even waiting on the Lord can be an act of faith. You know, it's an investment. You're taking your faith and you're investing it for a future benefit. You know what I'm saying? So I hope this has been an encouragement to you guys. And uh, me and Michelle, uh, we just pray blessing on all of you guys. And um, we will continue to share with you um, our story and kind of where we're at, which is way, way not for this video. <laughs> um but yes, we bless you guys and we thank you. Um, and if you would like to give also, um, there are Cash App, Venmo, and PayPal links below. Feel free to give if you would like to. Um, and we thank everyone who supports us. And um, until next time, we uh, will see you later. Bye-bye.